I feel like somebody's watching you. Yeah, somebody's watching you. Somebody's fucking watching you. Like, look at these eyes. Look at this. <sighs> what is this about? Um, okay, forbidden fruit. So there's somebody watching you. Okay, there's a player energy. Yes, there is a very strong, intense chemistry connection that you have with somebody who they could be anything to you, right? Doesn't matter what the label is necessarily, but this is third party energy. I don't know if the third party is watching you or your person is watching you. It's like this person has more than one. Yeah, this person has more than one um, person, right? This this person is somebody who has like, I feel like this third party could be watching you or this third party is like, yeah, I got him. I've got your person. I've got your person. And a gnat just flew over my camera lens. I don't know if y'all saw that. But like there's somebody watching you. I feel like there's a third party watching you. And this and there's a or it could even be your person. So just apply it where it fits, right? Yeah, you're you're forbidden fruit, or your person is dealing with somebody who is forbidden fruit, right? Like sailing ship, but I feel like that ship that ship has sailed. Like you've moved on, or something here is over. Show me one more. I, yeah, it's over. You you had a gut feeling here about a situation. So you may have like something led you to move on. I feel like from this person, you know, this person feels very guilty. I feel like this person feels like they had a great time with you. They feel like there was a definitely a very strong attraction and connection this masculine, I am going to say this masculine, but I feel like there are a lot of eyes on this situation or like could be a lot of gossip. Um, it could just be like, I just feel like somebody here in the situation is like side eye in this whole situation. It's, this is really weird energy. I definitely feel like this is you saying F you, I give zero fucks and I'm done. I'm gone, I'm moving away, I'm moving on with my life, I'm done. Like, that's the energy that I'm getting. However, I'm also getting too that for a minute, this masculine has been enjoying having multiple options. And I low-key feel like both women were enjoying this. I'm not saying like together, but like these two women were most likely in love with the same masculine and this masculine knew that but I do get an energy of like the woman in the white feels like it looks like she's pulling away she's pulling away from him she's like I've got to go but there's like a woman holding on to this masculine still the woman in the in the silver is still holding on to this masculine but this woman in the white dress looks like she's ready to go. She's got somewhere to be. She looks like she's booked and busy. And she's like, I'm done. Like, I've got somewhere to go. She doesn't seem attached to this masculine. Like, this other person is, like, holding on for dear life to somebody's arm. I feel like that's the person, like, who's like, yeah, ha, ha, ha. I, I got him. I've got the last laugh. And they've got the smirk on their face. That's so crazy because like the joke is on this this other person because you don't you're not you're done you don't want this person. I'm not saying you don't care for them you never care for them you know, but I definitely don't get an energy of like you caring very much at this point. You I feel like I'm talking to a feminine who was like, fuck this you can have them. I'm not gonna deal with it. You deal with it. And she is dealing with it. So, yeah. Show me more here. So 
somebody's got some skeletons in their closet in their closet i feel like somebody is finding out it could be your person or this third party somebody is finding out that their person has some skeletons in their closet maybe this was you finding out they had some skeletons in their closet or they had this other person and i feel like you jetted I feel like somebody found out some information that really upset them and or somebody's about to find out some information about this other person confirmation. Somebody's about to find something about <laughs> whatever this shocking news is about to be. Let's see what this what's this what are these skeletons in this closet? Ooh, ooh, what are these skeletons? Ooh, ten of swords in reverse. Ten of swords in reverse. Well, whatever the skeleton was, I'm telling you, somebody feels felt betrayed, sad. What's these skeletons in this in this closet? This masculine is trying to hide something. Yeah, somebody's about to hear some information with this page of wands. What about this page of wands with skeleton in the closet? This person has multiple lovers here, okay? If, if somebody doesn't have multiple lovers, which we already know they have multiple lovers, but there could be more people than you know. Um, they, somebody here could be a Gemini or, you know, a, an, an Aquarius or a Libra or a younger Sag. Show me more about the skeleton energy. Well, yeah, secrets, Pisces energy, high priestess. So basically, there are secrets, okay? I don't know what else to tell you. I don't feel like that's you, okay? Because I feel like this is you in this three of wands energy, right? You've moved on. You're, you're looking into the future. That ship has sailed. You're healing Aquarius energy. You could be an Aquarius or a fire sign. You don't have to be, but like, I feel like you just moved on. You are doing your own thing. Justice. And your justice is to move on. Somebody here is lying. Hold on a second. I don't like this energy. Show me more here about this high priestess. Well, whatever secrets came out, somebody was definitely upset and pissed. Show me more about this high priestess with the Knight of Swords. Um, Queen of Pentacles and Six of Cups. So this is about somebody here who had a past with this person. That person could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this could be like somebody they have children with that they've been attached to for a while that they have history with. I feel like there is a feminine here who wants to come tell you something. And it's going to give them like, I feel like it's going to give them, like, make them feel good. Like, ha ha, you know, like last laugh type energy. Like, I feel like they have something they want to run back and tell you somebody's secrets just to make you like, this is weird. You could be dealing with a Gemini, like I said. Libra or an Aquarius. Look at these secrets. This masculine. Oh my gosh. Hold on, y'all. Look, this energy at the bottom of the deck with this masculine, this King of Swords. This King of Swords is in his head and doesn't want this secret to get out. Look at this. Look at all this air energy. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. This is everything this masculine is experiencing. This masculine definitely hiding skeletons in their closet. And I feel like if you hear about this, as soon as you hear about it, it's going to upset this masculine. Somebody here could suffer from um, some form of like mental, um, you know, disorder or um, multiple personalities. If, if it's not multiple personalities, like this is definitely giving some mental anguish like really bad like really bad eight of swords seven of swords and a five of swords so but it's almost like this queen of pentacles energy is like enjoying this wow um 
Let me pull from a different deck real quick because this is really interesting energy, very different. But I mean, it's here. Show me more here about the situation. Definitely some Aquarius energy for sure. Show me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, karma is keeping me from you. Past life soulmate. So this person, there's definitely a third party who's like, ha ha, I won. Like, I've got this. This karmic is really like doing everything they can to keep you from this masculine, which I don't even really necessarily feel like that's what they needed to do because I feel like you were already gone. You'd already made a decision for yourself. Somebody here could be an Aries. I see Aries energy out here. Um, I didn't expect to fall in love with you. Constant arguing. Yeah, this masculine is with this karmic. They're constantly fighting. But it's almost like whatever secrets, the, the, this karmic could be holding secrets over this masculine's head and they could be threatening this person to tell this person's skeletons about this person's skeletons in their closet because this masculine is doing everything he can to close this dang on door to keep these skeletons from falling out. I feel like this feminine wants to come towards you. I feel like this feminine brings this brings brings you up collective to this masculine a lot. Yeah, this person could be a Taurus. Okay. What was that? Yeah, I told you this go gossip just fell on the floor. Yeah, that there is definitely some gossip and some talk about something. What's this gossip about? Can you show us what this gossip is about? Yeah, the gossip is, I'm telling you, this feminine wants to come towards you. Say something. Somebody wants to come towards you and tell you about these skeletons or whatever information this is that's looming and hanging over this masculine's head. And this masculine is like doing everything he can and arguing and fighting with his karmic all the time. Um... And he doesn't want you to listen to what she has to say. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Somebody here could be a Sag. Okay. But the thing is, it's like, I don't necessarily feel like somebody's lying. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I've changed. So I feel like you tried warning this person and they still chose to stay with this karmic. I don't care about what other people say. So, what what is this energy? What is this energy? Somebody here is lonely without you. Even if this masculine is like living with somebody, like they, they're still lonely. Um, I'm not fully healed. You triggered me. So yeah, definitely they were supposed to meet you. You two of you were meeting each other to heal each other's right. I mean, I, it makes sense. They're with a karmic. They, it, times is up for this person. Time was up for this person. This masculine was supposed to leave this karmic a while ago, but they didn't do that. They chose to stay partially either because of some form of obligation, financial reasons, children, or a looming secret that they don't want to get out that this karmic is holding over their head. It's like somebody feels like they have an ace in the hole. This is so weird. Yeah. This masculine, I'm telling you, is having some mental issues. They're overthinking everything. They may even be suffering from some form of mental breakdown or some mental anguish here. Yeah, I'm so afraid. I can't make this up. This is for real, y'all. Like, this person is afraid that this gossip is going to get out. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm just saying. Um, hmm. Somebody's in five of pentacles energy. Leo energy here. Somebody here could be a Leo. Don't wait for me. I don't feel like you are waiting for this person. Show me more here. Definitely Gemini energy. Gemini just came out. Be careful what you say to my friends. I'm telling you, man, there's some gossip. 
be careful about what you're telling somebody else or like this person could be experiencing some form of gossip or something here somebody here could be living at a distance living at a distance someone may want to travel towards you to tell you something here um, I feel like you're not in the mood to be bothered you don't care you don't want to hear from anybody you the last time you talked to this person you really told them like leave me alone okay I feel like you really gave it to this person you were like I'm not interested like I'm not interested in any of this I'm done you know you literally <laughs> You literally gave this person the middle the middle finger. You're over this. So I guess get ready for some tea, honey, because the tea is the tea is teeing. I don't um um I don't know what the tea is, but it's I'm thinking if I want to pull from a different day. But I really legit don't. Um oh you know what y'all do? Let me see. Okay. Can you show me more about these skeletons in this person's closet? What are they hiding? What are these skeletons? Dang, somebody's praying. What, what is this person hiding? Somebody took something. Somebody took something that did not belong to them. Okay, robbery energy. Somebody took something that did not belong to them. And now they want to apologize. And they feel really guilty about something here. This is something that happened in the past. Because we have memory here. Um, somebody might have some pictures or something. Because this is like a photo book. Like a photo album or something. So somebody may have some photos. Or like a, you know what I mean? I just feel like somebody here is praying that this doesn't get out. Show me more about this interview. Yeah, I'm telling you, I cannot make this up. This is crazy as shit. Let me show y'all what just came out. There's there's a lot of um and I don't like this energy because I ain't I'm not gonna stay in this too long. Fury, look at this shit. Fury and right. Like somebody could be doing magic. Somebody is doing magic. Somebody's just. This says madness, offense, fury, unpleasantness, ceremony, mystery, and magic. This karmic is just crazy. Just like whatever. Yeah, mask and pride. Look at this mask and pride. Somebody done lost themselves. Somebody lost themselves in a game. And remember I told you too, like somebody here might be, I feel like also too, this masculine on the outside is like acting like everything is okay, but everything is not okay with them because they're in their pride and their ego. They're going to work, acting like going about day, their day to day, whatever they're doing and they're acting like everything is good. This person is wearing a mask. You see how many different personalities like in this thing, like there's a bunch of different faces. Also, too, I'm going to say this. When somebody goes to sleep, I don't know. I feel like... Because why else is this energy here? Relaxation. Came out with mask and pride. Somebody's just wearing a mask and it's deceitful. And I feel like this, this third party is happy. This third party knows that this masculine is going through this. And they're happy about it because it's giving an energy of like, I don't care if you're happy or not, as long as you're not over there with that other person, which is sad. They don't even, they don't even care if your person is happy or if they're suffering, like if they're mentally ill or having a mental breakdown, like 
this other person is just chilling and hanging out. Like, I'm good. Huh. This could also be the person doing some form of spell work, too. Well, I'm sending protection, love, and light um, to my collective. And um, blocking any negative energy. Okay. And returning it back to the sender. What does this person want to say to my collective? I've never met someone like you. Okay. Do you still think about me? I want you to enjoy your life. So there is a sense here that this person is stuck. They're not going anywhere. Um, they're going to stay over there with Carmisha or Quan. You know what I mean? And uh, because this person has some form of secret over their head, this person is going to continue to be miserable until they're ready to like ascend and heal. Can we work this out? Can you forgive me? I, I still care about you on the bottom of the deck. Okay. I love y'all. Hit the like button. Okay, subscribe to the channel. If you need a personal reading, I am open for personal readings. That information is below in the description box. I will see y'all later, okay? Bye.